little bit lacking in the stun department, so it's early levels on Nisha and Sabas very important outside. Oh, nice stun from Zayats through the tree line. Well, clip on to start, and then we had an incredible game one, and it's going to continue that form into game two as Zayats finds first blood. A little low on the old regen, though. Don't Pop have lane? any coming up. Poppy's getting chased. Katara's got another round of the shrapnel. This time it's level two. They'll need the decay for the extra damage, and that's enough to secure the kill. So Tempest, they'll hit back instantly. It actually went the point in the impetus, which I'm not sure... ...since away. Bayats will not be able to catch up. He does have a mango and the impale available. Slardon, what's the play? You've got to be able to sidestep this. Zayats is ready for it. The stun fissure. Oh, always too slow. Zayats finds his second kill, and importantly, he gets all the solo experience. The secret, kind of similar to last game. They don't need to win the lanes necessarily. Obviously, it's a bonus if they do, but uh, it's just important to get that early farm because you've got these hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Bumpy. I was watching the entire time. I'm like, I don't know if he's going to have enough damage. Anchor in the tree line. Fissures a potential from Sladen. Has to be cautious about the spy Carapus, but Sabas is actually rotated down to bottom. So they're going to look to jump Crystalis. An easy kill for them to find. And they've still got some vision onto the Nyx Assassin. Thanks to the swarm. They're able to scout him out, escaping to the eastern side. Sabas, another round of the ultimate if he wants to, but it looks like Draken will have the damage. And that gets him some more earned charges as well. A beautiful rotation coming out of the position to. Different for me, this game versus the last one is just that vision that they've got set up around the mid lane for Tempest. Tempest in particular. Katsu was in position, he realized that, look, attack. me being at that bottom lane. lane? Oh no, the remnant, it's just, no, he went into the Oh no, that was awkward from both sides of us. Probably team fights, not so much, unless it's a full five on five. Kayu, TPs are starting to come out. Can he get the tombstone down before they secure with the kill? He's going to be able to do so now with the rotations. They're going to be cautious on secret how long they stick around, but look at the call from them. They want to turn to deal with the tombstone. The secret. Like you pulled the response was good. What? Mid lane? So boss is chilling for the moment with Katyu nearby. He's actually going to look to jump back in with the spike carapace on cooldown. Zayats, a lot of damage coming out from the dissimulate being level three was enough to blow up the Nyx assassin. Play overall, popping that shapeshift there. Fingers reaction to simulate the boss. He doesn't have any more ultimate charges though. They're going to go for Katyu. A remnant's going to be off the mark. They're committing towards the Void Spirit, but he's got no one else, no extra reinforcements to keep alive the position too. And our resolution can crunch down the Undying's life as well. It's a great rotation. Rezo claims top. This will be the opportunity for Secret just to look to move in. And the thing is, someone has to address the top side. I mean, Slaughter does. He gets rid of all the scaly boys. So nice little infusion of gold coming through to him there, but it forces a it gives you a lot of information. Oh, but damage rune is going to be utilized here for Sabas. Playing a lot more around, like they know that Roshan is the biggest timing, and you've seen a, a distinct movement away from this bottom side of the map from Tempest. So I like the fact that they're it not just. Oh, the Weaver is going to get caught out. Zayat! Beautifully done with Nisha's follow up. A kill on Tadrak and is working towards two, but you need to connect on this. And I think and you need honestly, vision. Yeah, and Kodoro needs to show on the lane too. They need to drop the tombstone in a position where Secret aren't going to be able to address it. So the high ground for the moment inside the river. They go, slide and see with the echo slam onto the storm spirit, and the damage is enough. So Bars has been able to blow up Nisha, but can they get out? As the impale clips the void spirit, they've got the damage coming through from the Medena, but they haven't addressed Kitaro on the sniper. Freely right clicking from afar is the position one on Tempest, and it means that they'll come out on top in the trade, and they might even get resolution as well. A Pogo stick forward, sliden has got the extra control, and Draken will just slip past the wall that blocks him out as Tempest. An incredible fight from them. Will create the havoc to allow that Echo Slab to come through. And, you know, Katara, he got there a tiny bit late, but he was still able to influence that, grabbing himself a couple of kills in that fight. Another freebie, and potentially a 2-1 tower as well with the catapult, although Nisha's going to look to get some revenge, and the rest is secret. Instantly funneling to the, funneling to the mid lane. Cat you. Bait out this tombstone. They're poking him down from afar, they'll jump back in, they've got control of the area now with the tombstone laid down in secret, they've got to get out. 
They will be able to do so, but it comes at the cost of another support. But as long as they can keep this tier one tower alive, that's the main thing from them. As Nisha's is going to jump in. He's falling a little bit low in the meta department. Meanwhile, Crystalis though, oh, his health, it's not looking too good for the Razor. Again, with on they going for another smoke here is anyone going to be in a position to pop it catch you just out of range Ooh. it might be the one that gets caught here Zayat gets a jump onto the undying they should be able to blow him up they also see Slardin's position as well but the earth shake is going to be okay for the moment Slardin actually jumps into the middle they don't have the control at the moment to hold them back they'll kill off the nyx assassin but this gives a free fight for nisha a long zip in to be able to deal with the earth shaker and now tempest they're in full retreat Resolution? Is he in some trouble? The Taro nearby. Gotta be cautious though, because Zayat's gonna hold the back to damage onto the sniper. Pop is just freely right clicking the impetus. Oh no, they didn't respect Seeker. They entered their domain and our Crystalis is still in the damage. Sliding's gonna be in with the Echo Slam, clipping just onto the Storm Spirit. Nisha, zip out, and he'll be okay. But now you need to look to address the Razor as Crystalis has gone untouched through. Oh, themselves. Such a winning position. See what they can do now in Tempest. They need an area to be able to take a team fight. Found him again. Zayat is going to look to take that away. Onto the Undying. They go oh, by Carapus. Oh, it's perfect. Zayat with the chain control. But Tabas is okay for the moment. The damage will turn it back around. Dealing with the first life on the Storm Spirit. And Tempest, they got to get out. Tabas is not in fighting shape with all the ultimate charges on cooldown. So they'll turn to Sardin instead. The easy kill onto the Earthshaker. They're going to be cautious with their positioning because Katara is in trouble. But not messing around. A BKB will protect the sniper inside the base. They go. They don't care about how the deep they shot. dive because they know that Tempest are not in fighting shame. A secret just swarmed inside their own territory and they'll find all five. Uh. Sabas? Now with ultimate charges into the high ground. Dyer's no one's going to look to move on over. But the tombstone Dyer's dropped. Time. It's going to be difficult for Secret to take the fight Dyer's nearby. The, the resolution. He'll use the shapeshift. Nisha's even considering about entering towards the backline, though. Draken's on the Crystalis. Trying to force out an early use of the BKB. Towards the triangle they go, though, as Nisha's on to Sliden. As it back in and out, just a poke and prod with the summons is enough to get the kill. Zayat, however, he's separated from the team. And they should find an easy picking some to the next assassin. So in the end, Tempest. Nisha's highest damage components. He's just been zip attack and fought. Around the triangle, Slardin gets a really good two-man fissure that clips Nisha as well. They're go. putting a lot of their attention to try and bring down the Enchantress oh, and puts the boss in a compromised position. Zayat, <laughs> you can always trust this man. Looks in this game right now, but they're playing together so that if someone does get jumped, at least you've got the boys there to help. Guitar. They showed for a second mid. They're gonna look to jump Crystal, so Zayat's in once again with the spike. Carapace and they've been able to catch up the sniper. There's no hesitation from Nisha. Jumping Kataru. And meanwhile, Sabas has been caught out as well. Secret. Once they sense an opportunity, they Dyer's pounce. And Tempest Something. have lost three. And soon their objectives are gonna fall as well. Yeah, for sure. They, they had the right idea. I think they just committed way too heavily. As soon as you... Oh, here I am. They go for an even deeper dive here. Nisha, not even needing mana, he says. Run! Run. Put you down and, well, <laughs> it'll be enough. Oh. ...this game right now, but they're playing together so that if someone does get jumped, at least you've got the boys there to help. Guitar. I was going to say, showed for a second mid. They're going to look to jump Crystal, so Zayat's in once again with the spike. Carapace and have been able to catch up the sniper. There's no hesitation from Nisha. Jumping Kataru. And meanwhile, Sabas has been caught out as well. Secret. Once they sense an opportunity, they Dyer's pounce. And Tempest have lost. Dyer's yeah, for sure. They, they had the right idea. I think they just committed way too heavily. As soon as you... Oh, they go for an even deeper dive here. Nisha, not even needing mana, he says... Run! Right, put you down and, well, <laughs> it'll be enough. <laughs> Bit of an early usage on the glyph as well. I suppose the tower's about to die, so, yeah. As well, I love Dota, a secret. Oh, the Mega Creeps, this should be them closing out this second game.
Spot the radiant now has mega feet. Zayas, I get caught out early. <laughs> and yet it's, it, it's a... That feels like a little bit of a victory lap, you know? They were going for something like this is pretty damn obvious as well as when you're underneath an Observer Ward, but you kind of have to as well because Roshan's potentially respawned. They're going to use the Shrapnel to scout out the fact that it's not. But, I mean, they've found something even better. Yeah, they're onto the Void Spirit. Zayas has done it again. Started the fire with the fall from Nisha. The Void Spirit's gone. Cat used next on the agenda. He'll drop the tombstone, but it doesn't matter. Secret, they're way too far ahead for Tempest to be able to deal with it. Even Katara just has to be KB TPR, hoping he can escape. And Secret put all their attention onto other heroes. They're even low. They're pinging him out. Zayas wants this done. Ooh! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that should be all she wrote. He doesn't have a buyback. The G's had dropped. And Secret... What a great way to be able to start out the last chance qualifiers. They were 2-0 Tempest. Early game, you know, we saw some really good movements coming out from Tempest, but...